Hey guys, Jeremy here from Spartan Armor Systems. We're at the Pro Gun Club, uh, Boulder City, Nevada, 2016 SHOT Show. We're gonna do a quick preview and live fire demonstration of our Arm Apply Body Armor. Our Arm Apply Armors are a lightweight steel core level three plus armor. Has our advanced triple curve on it. Um, and we also have a proprietary polyurea coating that we do spray on top of the place in-house that far outperforms anything other that we've tested before. So as you can tell, our body armor has a unique cut profile to it. Uh, with ergonomics in mind, we decided to put a, a radius around the, the shoulders and the neck area. A traditional plate carrier um, doesn't really account for that type of cut and it leaves you with a little bit more slop. Um, as a solution, we've been working with the Jeff over at Bees Combat Systems for about three and a half, four years now. And he's designed a plate carrier specifically uh, for our cut um, of body armor. He's done a phenomenal job and uh, I'm gonna hand it over to Jeff to tell you more about it. Like Jeremy said, last four years we've been building plate carriers for Spartan Armor Systems. We have a full cumber version, a molly version, and a low profile version. Today we're going to just shoot the low profile version. It's a low profile plate carrier to support this ergonomically cut plate built by Spartan Armor Systems. This plate carrier has vertical webbing so you can mount chest rigs in, plenty of velcro, and plenty of adjustment on the sides with a two inch buckle. Let's shoot it up. So we're going to be shooting some 762 M80 ball and some SS109 XM193 um, 556 by 45 So the 556 by 45 is flying at about 3,100 feet per second out of our Rock River Arms uh, 16 inch barrel. The M80 ball is going about 2,800 feet per second out of our uh, 18 inch LMT. We're gonna you know, throw some fire at it and, and see what we can do here. So we're gonna have uh, three shots of M80 ball out of our LMT 308, 18 inch barrel. And like I said earlier, we're traveling Ballpark 2800 feet per second. Uh, really close right now, we're about 25 feet. Again, far exceeds the NIJ spec, but we're gonna give it a shot, see what we got here. All right, guys, so no sniper here. My uh, weapon sighted in for 200 yards. I got to count for that. We took three shots at the plate one, two, and the third one, as you can see, was pretty low. Um, you're not going to see me on top shot, so don't worry about that. But you get the idea. Uh, you can tell that the frag mitigation coating did its job. There's no rips or tears in the plate carry itself. Uh, when we're done with the next round of shooting, we're going to go ahead and pull it off, and you can look at the mannequin, and uh, you'll be able to verify that no holes actually went through the through the armor. All right, guys, uh, three more shots of SS109 XM193. We have our Rock River Arms Elite Operator, 16-inch barrel. So we're moving about 3,100 feet per second. Again, 25 feet. Pull it out. Yeah. Coating worked well. That's back face deformation. It Didn't go through though. No. Nope. Okay guys, we just got done with our five shots, or, or six shots and five impacts. Um, what's really impressive is the XM193. What kills body armor is speed. And, and we're moving pretty damn fast out of this short distance. So, I'd like to give you a quick overview of the plate. As you can see, the frag mitigation coating did its job very well. Um, you can see a couple little impacts. Uh, here we actually have part of the jacket sticking out. Um, it kind of ripped open here, but you have two shots in real close proximity. If I pull this apart, you can probably see most of the jacket in there. I'm not sure how well that is. The back side, no holes as you can tell. We do have a little bit of back face deformation, which is normal, especially out of uh, you know the velocities out, out of this short distance, well within the NIJ testing parameters. So the armor did its job. Um, stop and power is unparalleled in the industry. So we're real proud of this, um, a lot more to come in 2016.